Hello and welcome to Artists Soar. This is a podcast for artists by three artists. We discuss all aspects of being artists, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The goal of each podcast is to provide solutions so artists can focus on their creativity and soar above. I'm Rachel Harshenko. Jules McCullough. Stephanie Weaver. Jackson Pollock once said, art is coming face to face with yourself. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about what inspired our style of artwork. So this kind of topic kind of came about to me because I was listening to the Candy Color podcast. This is a podcast by um, Katrina Berg. She's really just a sweet person and I loved her her podcast. And I've actually had opportunities to talk with her in person. And she really is just as sweet as she sounds. But anyway, I was listening to <laughs> her podcast, Candy Color podcast podcast on uh, May 25th. So it's been a while. And the whole topic was, um, actually, I don't remember the topic, but what inspired the question for me was what inspired your artwork? Because this particular episode she had available on YouTube and also Rumble. And I think Spotify has a video aspect now. Hmm. So you were actually able to watch her as she was doing the podcast. And the really cool thing is like she was actually showing some of her artwork and her artwork is so unique and it's oil painter. She's another oil painter, but it was so unique that I, I always wondered how she kind of came about it. And what inspired her was um, kind of part of growing up. They, I think they went to Taiwan and, um, and she was just influenced by the Oriental culture. And you'll recognize a lot of that when you actually look at her artwork. So that kind of spawned the question. To, I mean, I literally paused the podcast. And I was like, oh, we got to talk about this. Because, <laughs> because it's like, what inspired our style of artwork? And when you look at, uh, you know, your artwork, um, you people can't see me. When I, <laughs> when I look at uh, Julie's artwork, there's a definite style. And vibrancy of color and same with Rachel. Rachel, you have a vibrancy of color, but they're very different, very different. And mine's very different from you guys. Yeah. So I want to ask you guys, what inspired your style of artwork? But before we kind of get in that, should we actually talk about what we Yeah, uh, I was going to say, before on? we, <laughs> I love the idea of where you got the, the this spark. idea. Yeah, yeah. the spark yeah. for this idea. So what are you guys working on right now? <laughs> so I'm working on putting more designs up on Society6. Mm-hmm. I finished two more and uh, got them up this weekend. And I'm just trying to get some old work that I've had waiting to go up, up as well. That's what I've been working on. Are you kind catching of- up on anything from... You know, like your art retreat, like, are you coming up with new ideas? And So one of the mm-hmm. designs I put up this weekend was, uh, well, actually, both of them are inspired from Spain. Mm-hmm. Uh, ones with lemons that I, because uh, there were lemon trees on the property where we were staying. And so I made something with that. And then the other one is a rosette from one of the churches I uh, went to I in Barcelona. That, that is the beautiful. stained glass. Yes. It's it so turned out, pretty. It just turned out so It cool. really turned out And nice. then I'm really happy with my lemons, which is such a boring thing because everybody has lemons and citrus. It's <laughs> they're not that easy to do. They're not. But I'm really happy with the way the design turned out. I was like, this is Aww. really cool. That's so, cool. so yeah. And those lemons I painted when we were overlooking the bridge in Rhonda, um, in uh, Spain. And you so, got to get a block out about that. Yes, that's on my list. We're, yeah, so I'm trying to catch up on everything. And I know everyone's waiting though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's for this week. Try to get that up and get a newsletter out. Wow. What about you? So I started. Uh, putting together a shop, um, a Shopify shop and connecting it to my website. Oh, look at you. This is an an addition to Etsy. Okay. Um, So, and I actually put my Etsy on vacation mode Uh until September 1st because, you know, the, what is this summer? Yeah. (laughs) Summer is like dead season. Right. And so I'm like, well, this will give me time to really kind of beef up that. I want my Shopify shop is going to be the artist apparel and gifts. Okay. And that's going to be on my website. So that should be live here shortly. And I, really cool. I did not know this until Kajabi. I watched a video on Kajabi. But there's a Shopify light. Have you guys heard of this? Mm-mm. Yeah, they don't really advertise it. But there's a Shopify light. And I'll, I'll include a link in this Is podcast. it like a plug plugin for 
No. Jo- jo- uh, it's Kajabi? very much like just Shopify, but it's Shopify Lite and it's for like small business owners like us. And um, it's only $9 a month. Oh, wow. Wow. Right? So, yeah, because the whole reason I've stayed off of Shopify is because it was like $35 a month. And I'm like, right? Oh, right. I, I don't make enough to spend $35 a month on a yeah. shopping site. And yeah. the beautiful thing, it takes care of your taxes. You know, it, it puts the right tax amount, puts mm-hmm. the right shipping amount, all the things that, and it integrated with, um, so I'm integrating with um, Printify, Printful. I, it does not integrate with Guten. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. I'm having to make some adjustments there, but I'm keeping things also on Etsy. So I've got two ways to sell products. Very cool. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And I'll, I'll include a link to Shopify Lite because okay. that is just a game changer, I think. I was going to say, that was worth the price of admission right now. Yeah, yes, exactly. To quote, <laughs> <laughs> to quote Jim Solomon. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. That's awesome. So be on the lookout. You can buy some and positive painter like hashtag positive painter apparel cool <laughs> oh, that's, that's awesome so fun. yeah i'm excited well i'm finishing up my queen and prince phillips um i don't know what you call it portraits like, portraits <laughs> um i did the queen once because it's her jubilee so i'm like oh i i, I love them i since watching the crown i've decided i really like them <laughs> so anyway i did one and then stephanie told me i had to do another one of the queen so i did another one of the queen but i did it totally different and i'm, I, I'm struggling a little bit with that but my prince philip's coming along even though they have both agreed this, he's not the most attractive man being no. old but he was so he was, cute when he, he was, was hot older. when he was younger yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean younger, younger. Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 super cute <laughs> and I've added a couple of new things to my Etsy account. Yay. Awesome. Yeah. What'd you add? Um, pop pig, a hippo, my pop hippo, and um, one other little thing. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did a BB-8, but um, don't tell anyone that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, it's I just sort of slid it in there. For your personal use. Yeah, personal use only. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we dive into today's topic, I actually made a gift for the artist or listeners, and that's the art business checklist and video guide. This checklist actually outlines what you need to do every day, week, month, quarter, and even year. The purpose of it is to hopefully make your lives a little bit easier as you're defining your art business. You can go to stephanieweaverartist.com forward slash art dash business dash checklist to grab that free guide now. Again, that's stephanieweaverartist.com forward slash art dash business dash checklist. Okay. So back to the question of what has inspired our style of artwork? And I think you've had the, you, you two have both had the longest journey, I think. Yeah. Well, I think it's one of those, it's evolutionary. So mine yes. kind of always started with, I like traditional art. So when I talk about traditional art, it's like what you would see in um, landscapes and portraiture. That's when we look at landscapes, I'm thinking like um, 18th century or whatever, where it's just pastoral type landscapes with beautiful skies and stuff. And thinking then, of your sheep. Yeah. Yeah. That sort of thing. And then for the people portraits, traditional is more in line with, for me, and thinking like what you would see, see in like a dean's office or like looking at um, King Henry VIII's portrait, that sort of thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth's portraits. Yeah. That That's the traditional stuff yeah. that I kind of like mm-hmm. that I'm capable of, I think really. Oh, yes. We want to say it that way because <laughs> I love like your work and your work, but I am not capable of expressing myself as you guys do in your artwork. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, my style is just traditional conservative, which is pretty much me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I know your style has evolved a lot, too. Yeah, mine's yeah. evolved a lot. Um, but when I look at it, it, it did evolve a lot, but I don't know if it really needed to have done all that because I've mm. kind of ended up where I really already was. 
if that makes any sort of sense. But um, you just went full circle. I just went full circle. You had to go on well, the journey. Did, to yeah, I was going to say you had to try yeah. new things, right? And I figure had to try out new and, things. Yes, and then you come back to like, nope, didn't like any of that, and back to right. <laughs> <laughs> Because in school, it was, you know, marker and color pencil and vellum, um, very geometric, obviously, having an architectural background. Uh, but now um, I think I'm more abstract, mm -hmm. even in traditional items. I don't want them to. I just don't have that talent of making them look identical to what they would in a still life or in a landscape. Um, even like the landscape I did of Spain is very abstract and and non-traditional in that sense uh that's just not where my talent lies and i think my work is definitely influenced by the joy that color can bring and which is why i like bright colors i have a very hard time not using the same color palette um i that's try so, that's so funny i have a yeah. hard time like my colors are very traditional muted earthy right yeah, mm -hmm. and yours are bright, and, and I have a hard time going to the bright. Yeah, I and, and you know, and I'm working on my drawing skills and trying to get better at making it more natural again because I used to be able to sketch anything, and I've gotten out of that. But traditional and making something look like the photograph or like it is in a still life is just not my cup of tea, and mm -hmm. it's not where I find the best um, best work. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. But I think my style is definitely influenced um, by the loose architectural rendering styles of which you don't really see anymore because everyone does it on a computer now. But, you know, old school marker, colored pencil mm -hmm. renderings of architectural buildings and stuff, even though that's not what I'm drawing, it's very much influenced by that. Well, you did a couple of buildings, mm -hmm. like windows and buildings yes. from like France, and those were you could tell that was highly influenced. It's, yes, mm -hmm. and yes. I thought that was yeah. Is that on the Instagram? The Instagram. Look at me, I'm old. Is that on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> the Instagram. It's like, it's like I'm for going, the World Wide Web. <laughs> I'm, go, I'm going to the Walmart. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But is that on your Instagram? Because I totally is. missed that. Yes. I missed that. Uh, yeah, it is. But you'll have to scroll back a good year oh. to see it. Yeah. Oh, the door. Right. Oh, I love, I love the, the door. door. Yeah. Okay, I remember that. We'll yeah. have to re. Will we? Okay. We'll repost it. Yeah. yeah. But That'd yeah. Be good. I think I started getting my style a little bit. Because I'm, I take from Stephanie. Yeah. And but what's funny is our styles are 100 percent different. Different. <laughs> yeah. But that's the way it's supposed to be. It, okay. That's exactly. <laughs> and but you've helped me develop and like I think there for a little bit I started doing like teacups and stuff and uh -huh. um you know with some bright colors, different colors and things like that. And then we did those drinks, and I was like, you know, bringing the I was like. Okay, yeah, I like yeah. the color. I'm bringing it in, and and then I just decided one day I saw um while well, we were watching Grogu, which is from The Mandalorian, from okay. like what <laughs> two years ago, and I thought I'm gonna you know do some pop art, and it was from a challenge, mm -hmm. and I think I ended up doing the first thing was a uh, stormtrooper. Yeah, that's what I remember. And yeah, I, and then I loved it, and I thought okay. I could do this. And it just like comes out so quick and easy. And that's how I know, okay, this is fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now, but I am doing the queen and the king. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, not the king, the prince, Philip and Queen Elizabeth. And I'm doing that in black and white. Mm -hmm. And that's completely different, but sort of still <laughs> linear kind of, I don't know. But I like my colors. I like the pop art part. Mm -hmm. I know. I'd, I'd like the after you do the Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip in black and white. I'd like to see you do it. I'm going to do a pop art. Pop art. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that would be cool. I, I think I'm going to take their wedding for their wedding <gasps> oh, picture. Oh yeah, they Ooh. both and look pop so art. good that with all the so metals good. and things. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And that'd be fun. That. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. So when I kind of look at your art and I'm uh, Rachel, when I look at your art, Rachel. It's vibrant. It's colorful. And what I see, 
And, and I'm like in your home right now. Mm-hmm. And your home is actually fairly muted in colors. I know, right? Yeah. It's very traditional colors too. Yeah. yeah. So that's got me kind of curious. The and when I go tones. to when I go to Julie's house, Julie's house has the turquoises and the pinks, the very oh, vibrant yeah, her colors. colors. Right, yeah. Yeah. And which is representative of your mm-hmm. art. So I'm wondering at what point, Rachel, are you gonna go like or is your husband going to let you? <laughs> uh, no, just no, kidding. This is like uh, stu- this is for the studio. So. Yeah, so I just wondered, like you know, they talk about art and being a self expression, and then mm-hmm. like your clothing being a self expression, and your hair being self expression, blah, all that stuff. So, do you guys find that your art, you know, the style that you have in your art, bleeds over into the rest of your life? Yes. You definitely, yeah. definitely I think does. so too because all my art like makes you smile, and I mm-hmm. hope that I, you know, your personality wanna... makes people. Yeah, smile. right. Your personality definitely matches your art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Because <laughs> okay, you know, like, <laughs> even like the traditional stuff, like the portraits and stuff, because uh-huh. you are, you know, um, I think she's trying stuff there. Yeah. No, but no, I mean, but it still matches her style because there's a certain amount of tradition within who you are as a person. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But yet the colorful stuff is definitely your, your personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because out of all of us, I know you're the extrovert. Most extroverted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. We've, we have worn off on each other. Yeah. Yes. Well, the pandemic didn't help making us all more introverted. introverted yeah. Right. Exactly. I know. And I found out after 2020 that I'm really an uh, extroverted introvert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, right now, like, there are some times where I'm just like, oh, my gosh. I mean, like, if... I don't know. Like, I try and go to the store when I know I'm not going to see anybody. Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, I send my son now. <laughs> yeah. But, and that's the thing. It's like, I want to be invited, but yet, I don't know if I really want to go. You know what I, know, I mean? Right. It's like, do they have a dog? I might. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's cool. funny. I'm trying to say, like, the, the style of the artwork. So, mine has always been... Always been traditional. I would love to mm-hmm. get more colorful, but well, some of my Let paintings me just say, are your your paintings are richer. Yes, richer in color. Yeah, right. In definitely depth. jewel based. Yeah, and in but the it's like a depth. Oh, so I got depth. Look at me. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know kidding. what I mean. Like because yeah, you have you multiple always... layers. I'm a, I'm I'm Shrek. Yeah. Yeah, I've got lots of layers. onions. <laughs> but like, even with all, you know, like even when we do things, you know, you've told me, "Hey, watch where your shadows are. Bring them mm-hmm. out. You know, make it darker. Don't be afraid to go darker." And it's yeah. like, don't be afraid to go lighter. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, either way, put some highlights in there. You know, this yeah. and that. So even when you're traditional or you're more modern or whatever, there's always a style where you can keep pushing it. Mm-hmm. There's not, you know, keep pushing it. So like. Say you're doing something with um, a pet portrait. Mm-hmm. Add a little spark of color in there that you wouldn't think, you know, that you see, but you normally wouldn't put it in there. Mm-hmm. But you're like, I see that cobalt blue. I'm going to put it right there. You know, like turquoise. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. You know, yeah. or, you know. Yeah. So I think like maybe the style of your art is not only representative of you as a whole, but what you're particularly feeling at that time. Yes. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I would agree with that. So if you look at Van Gogh, mm-hmm. he went through that blue period. Yeah. And um, have you guys gone through any of those periods where you just want a particular style or a particular color? Not really. No? Not yet. Mm. Not that I could think of well, anyway. I did the purple when we did the very peri. Yeah. And then I decided I could do, you know, I was like, that would be cool to do something all one color. Mm-hmm. But uh, nothing's ever, nothing hasn't, nothing has spoken to me yet. Let me find that good grammar there. Okay. Um, I'd be curious like the. You know, if we go through the Instagram, the Instagram, I got to stop that. Uh, oh, if we go through our posts yeah, or Yeah, if work. you can see like a visual change. And because I know you used to be a lot of photography mm-hmm. and the study of light and yes. the stories behind it. Now you're, and a lot of those actually are very dark. Yes. Where It was about finding that light. Yeah. In the photography more so than in the artwork. It's all about the light. 
mm-hmm. and joy and fun and, you know, whimsical, mm-hmm. all those other things. <laughs> but your pieces were kind of dark then. Yeah, yeah the photography pieces were, yeah. even, but they were about looking at it and seeing where the light was. Mm-hmm. It wasn't so much that they were the light. Mm. Interesting. Because they were telling a story. So was your artwork the same during that period? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. I've that. always my artwork's always been bright and colorful. And you had a you go through a lot of um sea based yes. artwork. Yes. I use a lot of turquoise. Well, I mean like <laughs> for a while you were doing a lot of mermaids, turtles, right. octopus. Yeah, yeah I've got Norwal. Um, whale, sea ray, a uh, sea ray, yeah, stingray, stingray, stingray. stingray. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's one of the things I'm working on right now is making that into some patterns. Um, cool. That would be cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all together. Mm-hmm. That would be so. Cute. so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, a lot of my work's influenced by the ocean and the in the sea. So. And you love it though. That's oh, what yeah. you want. Yeah. yeah. That's I, your I, in, that's your end yeah. goal. Yeah. Right. Live by the sea. Yep. Mm. So, I mean, I'm heavily influenced by that. So that's where a lot of my colors come from, too. The pink skies, the yellow skies, blue skies, blue water, the cream colored sand. Yeah. Mm. I try not to use like pure white in anything. Mm. So I use a lot of white. I use a lot of white. I, my base colors are ultramarine blue. That's the one I use a lot of. Yeah, I, did, I have been putting a lot of ultramarine blue into yeah. my gray for this. I remember having a conversation with you, and you're like uh, thumbing through some pictures. Oh, look, that cerulean blue sky. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like, were talking about that. So I was in Asheville a couple of weeks ago, and we were out at Jumping Off Rock. Okay. To see the sunsets. And it went from cerulean blue (laughs) down to um, uh, cadmium yellow light. With a touch of titanium white. (laughs) With a touch of white. But it had like, and then it had some pinks and, you know, it had all of them in between. But the sky, and I tried to take a picture of it, but it just doesn't, it didn't equate to my phone. That's like, this is cerulean blue. Like, here, right here. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, that's funny. So, I, but I still think that we are inspired by nature. Nature, nature. Yeah. Still, really, the nature. colors that we find and, yeah. like on a and walk animals. This, yeah, on a walk this morning, I just took a picture of uh, one of those queen, queens and lace flowers. flowers. And, that, you know, that could be the hardest thing you ever want to paint. Not really. It's just a lot so? of little, you know, speckles. You use a ruined paintbrush and kind of get the fact, I think. But I really liked it. And I'm trying, like, Jessica Lever, Lever, mm-hmm. Lever, I was listening to her podcast and how she, like, goes out into nature almost all the time. And I just have that visualization of, I would like to do that. I would like to be more inspired by nature. Not but, when it's 100 degrees. Though. No, it's freaking hot outside right now. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, go to the Instagram yeah, the and then Instagram. look at some people who live in more climate, nicer um, areas. Maybe. But even when you went on your sabbatical, you know, oh, you chose the oh, mountains yeah. and your color ranges uh-huh. are more to that nature based, that nature based color. Yeah. You know, with the grains and the and burgundies and mm-hmm. those traditional colors. <laughs> Yeah. You know, where like me, I choose to go to the beach in a tropical area, <laughs> right? <laughs> and my the color base is more, more, is more that, yeah, it's you true. know. So I don't think that it's not that you're not influenced by nature. I think you are heavily influenced by nature. Yeah. I'm just more woodsy, and you're yes. you're beachy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like going. I like going to the beach for like thirty minutes, and then I'm sitting there going, "Okay, now what?" You know, <laughs> that's like, my husband. Too. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> he gets out. He'll set everything up, and I'm already sitting down reading. And he's like, "You want to go for a walk?" I'm like, "No, read my book." Yes, yeah. I'm. Happy. I know. John's like, "You want to go sailing?" No, I want to read my book. You want to go windsurfing? <laughs> no, I want to read my book. 
you want to go kiteboarding? No, I want to read my book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like there for a while, it was so great to have kids, you know, because uh, I was like, kept take busy. your dad, <laughs> go get your dad. Yep. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think your dad would like that, you know, I'm like, yay, I'm reading my book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, even when I got on that sabbatical, like the first day, it took me, it took me like three hours to drive there. Got unpacked and I had texted Kiffany and I texted her. I was like, showing her pictures. I was like, and now what? I'm like, and. <laughs> and she's like, relax and enjoy the quiet life. And I was like, okay, now what? <laughs> but I but like it, the it, way you described how you lived that week. Yeah. What, oh, like my daughter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, um, <laughs> so my daughter eats a lot of junk food and veggies a lot and stayed in her. She'll like wear the same outfit for a couple days. And so I was like, I'm pulling an Emily. And Ben said, what do you mean? I haven't changed my clothes in two days and I'm eating nothing but popcorn and candy. (laughs) 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 So yeah, but I've got some really neat pictures from there that I wouldn't mind painting, but I haven't quite figured out how I want to paint them. You had a big snail. Like All those things are so neat. Oh. I crushed one by accident, though. I felt oh. so bad. It was like... Ew. And your puppies loved being out there with you. Yeah, and... doing all the swimming. Well, one of them swims. The other one is... Bless his heart. He's just got issues. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's... His elevator didn't go all the way to the top. No, bless his heart. <laughs> 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 we need to put that on some uh, art, artist sore apparel where it says, artist sore, bless their hearts. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That, that, that this whole conversation inspired that style. Yeah, <laughs> and people are probably listening now, going, "Bless their hearts." Yeah. Like, <laughs> the oh Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh goodness! I think I can't think of anything more about the style of artwork no, thing. I'd be no. curious what other people like, what inspired theirs, and you know, because there's so many different styles out there yeah there, there are. really are and i listened to, like uh, like abstract i would love yeah. you know and we know a couple of people who do abstracts yeah yeah but, yeah amy mcbroom maybe we gotta and, um, contact elizabeth. her yeah yeah elizabeth, elizabeth. Yeah. yeah yeah and just talk to them and see but you guys comment in um our comment sections or if you have found us on facebook or instagram the Instagram is to Stephanie. <laughs> I'm never um, going to live that down. <laughs> let us know what has inspired your style of artwork. And stay tuned till next time. Thanks for listening to Artists Soar. A podcast for artists by artists. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us at hello at artistsoar.com. And be sure to leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts so that you can get more of us and we can bring in some sponsors to help you and help us.